and we are back we are back out on the Edo A20F electric fat folding bike a little bit of rain around today but that doesn't bother me because uh, at least the wind ain't there the last couple of videos we did the wind was insane so today I'm going to talk about the mods that we've done and we are going to be doing a full speed throttle test on flat ground I've just come past Brighton Pier because I know along this way uh, it's not as busy there's a lot of flat if you ever do speed tests always make sure it's in a safe place so we did a battery hack maintenance um we made a video on that and we've also done the, the mods upgrades so i have been told that i can change up the converter in this to give it that bit more oomph but i'm gonna leave it the way it is because it's not a bad yeah it's not a bad bike to be fair the <coughs> the video after this is going to be the hill test that's going to be its biggest its biggest one so uh, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out for the hill test that's going to be coming straight after this one every now and again i will wipe the lens just to make sure that we don't have any water spots um so talking about the upgrades i changed the pedals and that's the best thing that i've done was changing the pedals uh yeah these pedals are amazing they're called rock bros again um the video that we did on the upgrades i did link that in the description below so if you want to get yourself a pair go ahead and do it now i'm not sponsored in any sort of way but they are definitely the best pedals i've ever had my feet stick to them like glue <clears throat> the next best thing that we did was the carbon fiber handlebars again all of these videos you will find in our playlist of e-bikes and electric scooters and then i also put on the strengthening bar that's just a choice you don't have to do that i done that because um because once before my handlebar snapped when I was riding it and ever since then it's made me nervous so I always use a strengthening bar and other than that I haven't really changed that much now I've covered so far 23 miles on this thing so uh yeah still a little bit early in a way to say whether it's uh, the best e-bike but anyway I've been having great fun on it. I've got five levels of assist. I will show you my P settings. I show that in every video, uh, just in case you guys haven't got it yourself. Now, the one thing that is a little bit annoying about this bike, just one thing that I've noticed is I keep getting a little bit of a squeaking noise on the back brake. I don't mind the squeak when I'm pulling the brake because that's pretty cool because then people actually know that I'm there, even though this thing does have a horn. But... Um, it also has a front headlight and it is ip5 water rating so pretty good um, for using in the rain <clears throat> i did swap out as well as the handlebars to carbon fiber bars i also swapped out the right hand grip because these handlebars are longer i needed a different grip on there and then on the left we still have the palm grip but yeah i got a horrible squeaking noise coming from the back disc brake and i was thinking um that after a while it's going to go away because i have tightened the brakes up quite a bit but it, it just has not gone <laughs> and every now and again when i pedal you can hear that squeaking noise so i'm going to point the camera downwards like this just so that way you can kind of see my speed i will also lift the camera as well I don't think we've got any water marks. Let's have a look. Yeah, we seem to be good. So this is going to be throttle only. We've got five levels of pedal assist. And four of them are um, pedal assist. And the other, the four and five, is um, throttle only. Seems to be quite busy along here. It's never been busy along here. But anyway, let's do it. Oh, press the wrong button and push the headlight. Uh, so we've got it on. Let's do front windly. Let's see what we get. So pedal assist, we get 16 miles an hour or 15.8. This is front windly right now. Let's see what we what we come up with. I wanted to do it on flat ground just to make it more fair. So this is top speed. Coming downhill, I've got 32, and after 24 miles an hour, the rest of that was rolling. 
All right, so we're up to 20. All right, 19.6. So yeah, nearly 20 miles an hour full throttle. Now, countering my weight, obviously the air of the tires, the ground, the wind, all of that stuff. You have to, <coughs> you have to take that into account. So I'm weighing in, let's put it back to pedal assist. I'm weighing in at 15.6 stone. So if you're lighter, you're obviously going to get that little bit more. And of course, if it's not as windy and depending on the, the floor and stuff, you might be able to get a bit more top speed. So I am quite excited to see what um, uphill does. I'm not going to try and go back that way and try and get top speed because going back that way the wind is in my face so um, let's quickly show you the bike there we go I thought I had the headlight on let's turn it off <laughs> so yeah the pedals were definitely the best thing all right let's show the P settings Okay, so we hold up and down buttons, takes us into the P settings and we press the power button to scroll through. You can pause the video at any point. I have done the speed hack on this thing as well. So P8, 100, that means maximum speed. There you go so it's got um 16 levels of the pass uh p setting sorry all right we're just gonna ride up to the top here and then i'm gonna make my way to the to the hill that we always do the tests on so we did a test on the paslik oh that brake we did a test on the paslik electric bike and we've done a test on the lo26 and a few other electric bikes on this hill that i'm heading towards now and uh that's gonna be how i know how good this bike is because the other ones have managed to do it the big question is can the ado a20f electric fat folding bike is this one capable of uh of getting up that hill as well i'm very interested to find out as i said you can change the converter out to give it that little bit more torque but i'm not going to bother to do that i'm going to leave it the way it is and uh we got plenty of other new electric bikes coming to the channel as well so if you think that maybe this one isn't for you there might be one that is for you that's good yeah we got we got quite a few different electric bikes coming to the channel very soon so make sure you keep an eye out for that make sure you're subscribed if you've got any good questions do leave them in the comment section below and i will try my best to get back to you guys i do try to respond to every comment and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like so we might as well say 20 miles an hour on throttle only this electric fat bike got um i haven't actually tried to uh put it in a car but folding it is very easy and carrying it you can put your hand here and lift and i have lifted it upstairs like that rather than folding it just put my hand on that bar there carrying that it's actually not too bad it does definitely have a bit of weight to it but when i've been on this thing we've also done videos on this of being off-road and going off-road this thing is very very stable you can hardly feel any bumps even when you're on normal roads and you're going up and down curbs and stuff and bumps you can hardly feel it so very very good overall so i hope you guys have enjoyed this one keep an eye out for the hill test coming soon catch people again soon for some more fun and games i am out